Hi, welcome back. I'm Heather Airby from Nye House Education Center in Houston, Texas. And we are talking about phonological awareness activities and specifically phonemic awareness activities. Remember a phoneme is just that smallest unit of sound that we hear in a word. We know that having strong phonemic awareness is a critical skill for developing reading. So yesterday we worked on segmenting taking a word apart into its individual sounds and blending, taking individual sounds and putting them together to form a word. Today, we're gonna to talk about skills that are a little bit harder. Now your child has to be able to take the word apart into its individual sounds and put individual sounds back together to form a word first before we can move on to this harder task. But once they've mastered that, you can make it a little bit harder and it's kind of fun. All right, so let's get started. So today I went back to the garage, but I didn't get any tools. This time I got some things from Mr. Airby's side of the garage because he is a huge fisherman. So I got, as a matter of fact, he's fishing right now. So I got several of his little toys that he uses for fishing. The first thing I got was this big, long, doesn't even fit on the screen all at once. This big, long thing that he uses to fish. Does anybody know what this is called? This is a pole. Say pole, but now change the p to s. What word do you have? Soul. Say soul. Change the s to k. What word do you have? Coal. Say coal. Coal. Change the k to t. What word do you have? Toll. Say toll. Change the t to m. What word do you get? Mole. Say mole. Change the m to b. What word do you get? Bowl. Yes. Say bowl. Change the b to f. What word do you get? Foal. Yeah, a baby horse is called a foal. What sound was I changing? I was changing the first sound in the word. So that is an example of a manipulation activity where I'm taking a word and I'm changing or swapping out a sound. So let's try something different. Let's see, pay attention and tell me what you think about these words. Now say the word fish, fish, change the ish to at, and what word do you get? Fat, that's right. Now look what I've got here. This is a bait. Say bait, bait, change eight to at, what word do you get? Bat, very nice. Mmm, look at this. This must be for a big fish. Say the word hook. Hook. Change ook to ike. What word do you get? Hike. Yes. Now, these are all plastic, by the way. They're not real. Say worm. Worm. Change the erm to earth. What word do you get? Worth. Mm hmm Say tackle. So when fishermen go fishing, they have boxes called tackle boxes where they put all of their bait for their fish. So say tackle, tackle, change ackle to ickle. What word do you get? Tickle. Say box, change ox to ang. What word do you get? Bang, very good. Oh look. This is what attaches to the fishing pole. It's called a fishing reel. He keeps them separate from the pole when he's not using them. So say reel. Change eel to eed. And what word do you get? Read. That's right. Oh, look at this. You're going to like this. Look at this. Oh, that could make a big fish dinner. What is this? This is a net. Say net. Change et to ek. What word do you get? Neck. That's right. Say clippers. So he uses clippers when he needs to cut his fishing line. Say clippers. Clippers. Change ippers. 
excuse me, say change lippers to lap. What word do you get? Clap. This is called the fishing line. What's on there that you throw out um, when you're casting for the fish? Say line. Change ein to ain. What word do you get? Lane. That's right. And I told you, so when a fisherman is trying to catch a fish, he takes his pole and he throws the line out. And the fancy word for that is cast. He casts the line. So say cast. Change asked to eind. And what word do you get? Kind. So what were we changing there? What were we manipulating? Yeah, we were taking everything from the vowel to the end of the word. And we were um, manipulating that. We were swapping it out for new sounds. It's just a little bit harder because the child has to hear the end of the word and hold that beginning sound. So let's try one more. I think this is fun. I love these activities. And again, these are just things from my house. All right, so this one um, is all these. I want you to tell me what these are all about because they kind of all relate to something fishing themed still. All right, say flow, flow. Now change the f to s, and what word do you get? Slow, mm -hmm. Say float, float. Change the f to g, and what word do you get? Gloat. If you gloat, that means you brag, or you're kind of a show off. Mm -hmm. All right, now say trip, trip. Change the t to g, and what word do you get? Grip, yes. So do you see that's a little bit harder because you've got two sounds at the beginning of your word? So the student has to remember that first sound, swap it out, and then keep that second sound there. So it's a little bit more challenging. All right, let's try some more. Say glass. Change the g to k, and what word do you get? Class. So have you figured it out? Probably not. Some of these words are all related to water. And when a fisherman fishes, he wants the water to be smooth as glass. That's right. And the boat will float on the pond. And you have to take a trip, usually in your truck or your car, out to the water. And you want the water to flow a little bit because that's what keeps the fish moving. Ah, oh, here's another word. Drive. Echo? Drive. Change the d to th. And what sound, do you, what word do you get? Thrive. That may not be a word you know. Thrive means to do really well. So if a plant is thriving, that means it's growing really well. So I could say, ooh, after that long rain, my plants were thriving. They were growing really well. A person can thrive too. So if I'm doing really well in my job or you're doing really well at school, your teacher might say, oh, she is thriving in second grade. She is doing fantastic. All right, last one is trail because I was actually thinking of the word trailer because if I'm towing a boat, I put it on something that's called a trailer. So trail, echo, Change the t to th, and what word do you get? Frail. Now, if something is frail, that means it's very delicate and it can break easily. So I could say something like, please be careful with that flower because it's very frail. The petals might fall off. Or a person can also be frail. Usually it's an older person, like maybe your grandma or your grandpa. And I could say something like, my Nana was very frail and had to use her cane to walk. All right, so that was just our quick lesson on advanced phonemic awareness activities. So what did we do? Well, we already segmented and blended. We did that yesterday. And today, we took one little sound out and we started swapping. But do you see how you've gotta be able to segment first before you can start swapping. I have to hear and know those individual sounds. Then once I do, I can kind of start swapping them around and making fun words. 
All right, fun new words. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed. Again, Nye House Education Center in Houston, Texas. N-E-U-H-A-U-S dot org, nighthouse.org has all kinds of fun activities and ideas for you to do with your children at home while we are all staying safe. I hope you have a great day. Thank you.